What's happening everybody? It's Ralph with Pondscapes and we're back at it again. Let's go check out what the project is today. All right, what we've got loaded up right here is going to be a triple cluster of stack slate urns. And they're gonna replace this old pond that's been here for about 20 years. What we have here is a pond that's about 20 years old. Uh, we remodeled this uh, several years ago to make it a little more shallow, a little safer for the homeowner. And now it's time to take that next step in the evolution of water features. They're ready to make a little bit of a change. They're doing a lot of traveling and they don't want to worry about their fish. So we're putting in some stack slate urns. All right, my friend, last cast. Alex. Last cast. It never ends. One more cast. What we're gonna be doing is getting rid of this pond. We're going to set up a, a triple cluster of stacked slate urns right here in this area. And then we're gonna bring in some uh, backfill material, cover this up, compact it down, and they're going to have a beautiful cluster of urns looking right off of their patio through their kitchen window. And from their sunroom, they'll have a beautiful view right here. Alex, what do you have there? Some kind of a gecko. Check okay. that out. So this is common uh, in really low light situations. They often hide under rocks or in valve boxes, but Alex actually found this guy under some of these rocks that we're removing. With a buddy. With a little friend. So what we'll do is we'll relocate him, put him under a plant, and that way he'll find his way to another uh, nice cool little home for himself. Uh oh, we've got urns. All right, so check it out. We have got it somewhere over here. Got our layout set up. Dominic, did you put this here? No, 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 don't touch it. I'll work around it. I'm just totally to ruined the view. You ruined the view. I'm just trying to appease you and make you happy. I'm going. trying to see the, the setup. Okay, so. Oh, it's right here. Dominic gets to play for it. Yeah. Dominic gets to play for everything. Yes. Yeah. You know it's going to rain in a couple days. Thanks, Dominic. You're welcome. But when it's 120, you can thank me too. Yeah, that's <laughs> the worst. All right, the fun part of tearing apart the old pond is dwindling. It's coming to an end, Alex. It's coming to an end. We've got this small pile of rocks that's going to go staged right over there. We're going to load that up in the dump trailer later today, but we're about to go load that up with more material to bring in to fill this up so we can tighten everything up and bring that level up. Now Dominic is removing the remainders of the pond. That'll be gone today. That'll all be filled in. That's the old waterfall and stream. And boom, right there is going to be the house for our urns. With our basin set, you can see how much bib liner I've got hanging out all around. So the reason for this is when the pieces are standing up like that, yeah, pee, 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 uh, three. See all the water coming? So what, what happens is there's a lot of splashing that happens. And I want that splash to hit the liner and then roll back down into the vault. And that way we maximize the amount of water saved and minimize the amount of new water that needs to be brought in. All right, beautiful morning, day two. And we're in really good shape right now. We're gonna get the urn set up and I'm gonna start working on the plumbing. That typically takes a little bit longer just because of all the custom plumbing we do. We don't do anything stock or standard. So what I mean by that, we are going to maximize the flow that comes out of these urns. I drill out the top of them, put bigger bulkhead fittings on there, put stand pipes and then drill more holes for lights. It's going to be a total custom piece. Check this out. With our cluster set up, now we've got to do our plumbing. So what I do is I just, uh, I lay things out and get it situated right where I want it. And then I paint these rings around where the urns are gonna sit. 
Then what I'm going to do, let's take a walk around the backside. So this is how the plumbing is gonna come out from the pump. It's gonna come out right here, 90 over, connect. That's gonna tee in. That's gonna be a ball valve that adjusts the flow on this urn. So then what I'm gonna do is cut a little mouse hole opening so my plumbing slides right in there and comes up through the middle. Now what I have here, we're gonna do a little customizing. We're gonna drill this out. And then I attach these bulkheads and then a riser nipple on there. That way we get some tall water action and I'll also drill a hole in the front here and that's where I will recess the little one watt spotlights. So you can see I've got each individual ball valve going to its respected urn. Once the plumbing is set and the urns are leveled out, then we'll be able to start doing our rock work all around and fill this baby up. Time to get to plumbing. Ugh. My least favorite part. I'm going to spend a lot of time on my hands and knees. I am not complaining, by the way. Somebody said I did a lot of complaining because I spent a lot of time on my hands and knees. Hey, listen, it, it hurts my knees. I got knee pads for this. Want a oh, Dominic's over there serving up wham, wham burgers. What? French fries. What? French fries and wham burgers. The side of Wynikin. Oh, look at the comedian over here. Let's get to plumbing. All right, now I'm doing the plumbing, I'm cutting everything. I gotta share this with you. This is totally crazy. So I, for this job, I allocated a 20 foot stick of inch and a half plumbing. Uh, before, it wouldn't fit in the trailer, uh, so I cut it in half. Just eyeballed it, cut it right in half, down the middle. Now what I've done is I've cut one, two, three, four, five pieces to, uh, create our plumbing. This is the this is the other half. That's probably right at 10 feet long. Now what I'm gonna do is I've gotta run this pipe up inside to the bottom of this guy. Are you kidding me? On the money, 34 and three quarters inches of pipe left over from those cuts. I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, it's smoke and mirrors, movie magic. I'm telling you, Dominic's been watching me the whole time. Was that, was that planned? No. I, I pay him to say that. I am definitely playing the lottery tonight. This may very well be our last vlog. Dominic, we may be retiring after this job. I'm guaranteed to win the lottery this weekend. So people, this has been an amazing ride, but uh, we may continue doing vlogs down the road. It'll be about the, you know, other amazing things like, uh, uh, you know, winning lottery numbers and stuff like that. What we do with all, the, all of our winnings. I, I'm so excited. Next I mean, is next vlog is from Cabo, yeah. I mean, this is, this is, this just makes me so happy. Exactly on the money. It's gonna be a good day, Dominic. Psst, hey, come here. I'm gonna show you what we did with the lights. Okay, so you see, we've got this light right here. And what's happening is it, uh, there's the wire, it goes right through, and that goes to this chase. This chase line will get taped up to this pipe, and that way if we need to uh, do any replacements, it's nice and easy to fish that line right through, and then all those lines will go to a specific location. With the urn totally full of gravel, weighted down and leveled, we have got our chase line for the lights ran, we've got our stand pipe, and that is gonna connect right in there, slide right on in, and that way we'll be able to pull it on or off as needed. Here we are, this is our finished product when it comes to the tops of our urn pieces. So we've got our inch and a half bulkhead fitting in this one. We've got a, a riser toe on here. And see these little holes we've got right here and right here? 
That is on purpose because here in Arizona, when we have standing stagnant water, when this feature shuts off, we don't want to hold water in here. So these are two little drain holes. So this drains completely. So we're not growing algae in here and we're not leaving a uh, cesspool for mosquitoes to come and repopulate. And then of course we've got our light in here, siliconed around. So this looks really cool at nighttime when we have that bubbling effect and the light is illuminating and glowing at a, a nice high elevation. We've got all of our rocks staged around. <coughs> I'm allergic to blood. Uh, so, okay, we've got the rock staged and we've got to trim the liner and uh, then tidy up the edges, but it's time. It's time to test it. Are you ready? We have water. All right, looking good. So obviously we're out of balance. So that's an easy fix. We've got three ball valves, one for each urn, and we're gonna make those adjustments and really dial this in. That's it. This is a wrap for us and just in time. As little rain as we get in Arizona, here I am, another project about to get poured on. So I don't want that to happen. And everything is a wrap here. The swan is even enjoying the new urns. So I hope everybody has a good day. Don't forget, if you have any questions, hit me up, let me know down on the bottom. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.